Hey everybody, it's uh, Brad and Vic here, and we are about to start off on a brand new adventure right out of uh, Palm Springs, California. And uh, we got this beautiful ride that you picked up here. Vic, what did you pick up? Well, I picked this up a BMW 430 convertible because it's the ideal vlogging machine. <laughs> so we're going to have a lot of fun with this uh, with this BMW. We love Beamers, don't we, Vic? Yeah, we do. We actually do <laughs> love the BMW. Today we're going to head down to the Salton Sea once again, and we're going to be staying overnight at Slab City uh, in the Slab City Hostel with a fellow by the name of White Horse. He's our super host, and he's actually a super host on Airbnb. So I was a little concerned because it's a lawless place, Slab City. I didn't know, is there food there? Is there anything going? And then it turns out that Brad has actually got us food lined up. Where are we eating tonight, Brad? White Horse contacted us through Airbnb and he suggested that we eat at Buckshot Cafe, which is about three miles from Slab City. And there's also a convenience store over there. And uh, so we got to be there before eight o'clock. Otherwise the whole place shuts down. Uh, so we're gonna try and get there uh, while we still got daylight. I think that's part of the plan. Yep. And uh, we're gonna take off and uh, in this beautiful black Beamer. Okay, so we noticed something odd. So when the top is down on this, this is actually a hard top convertible. We're wondering how is Brad's case gonna fit in here? It just doesn't fit. We got a hold of the engineers at BMW. The button right here, we push this button and watch what happens. This whole top lifts up, the glass lifts up, and lo and behold, now Brad's case fits in this hard top convertible. Voila, what do you think? Is that great German engineering or what? We've got it jammed tight with a whole bunch of vlogging equipment. We've got drones with us today. We've got suitcases with us. Uh, we have actually everything we need to survive, Brad, including Brad's new 360 camera. We're going to try out the Insta360 ONE R, which I, I didn't have it in time to take it with us to Hawaii there, Vic. So unfortunately we didn't have it then, but we got it with us today. and I'm actually getting pretty excited about it because that is a really cool piece of technology. So, Hey, welcome to the world's worst vlog of the most amazing places. out to the Salton Sea we decided we we're gonna stop off had a have a little lunch we got some friends that are in town Jerry and Colleen we thought yeah. we'd stop in and say hello to them and I'm getting a little hungry there Vic yeah I'm getting a little hungry too at Seabon if we figure out what that means well we made it to Seabon there uh, Vic right yes we yeah. sure did now it turns out it's uh, a Belgian restaurant and so everything that they've got here is like made with like there's all kinds of like Belgian waffles, so I ordered a chicken sandwich. It's actually, instead of bread, they they, they, they used uh, waffles here, and it looks fantastic. Yeah, so, it does. Here we go. These are our good friends. This is uh, Jerry and Colleen. How are you guys? Hi. Yeah, thanks for seeing us today. Oh, absolutely, our pleasure. All right, well, bon appetit, okay, everybody. Bon appetit. Thank right. you, thank yeah. you. Okay, Vic, so we had a great lunch there. Yeah, oh, with, what uh, a tasty lunch. Colleen and Jerry, uh, it's the best waffle chicken sandwich I've ever had, and it was great. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> is that the only uh, waffle chicken sandwich you've ever had? I know I, it was the best one. I think it is. Yeah. And actually, the other thing, the service was great yes, at Seabon's. And uh, and uh, the ownership, they were really fantastic and friendly. Highly recommend it. And uh, that's in, are we in Indian Wells? Yeah, in Palm Desert. Anyway, check it out. It's really awesome. Okay, Vic, uh, daylight's burning. We got to get going okay, here. Okay, we got to get going. And we're gonna, but if we're going to get going, Brad, we're going to have to take this top down. We just made the turn. On to Highway 111 South here. We're taking the east side ride. It's actually quite a beautiful landscape. You might see some of it in the background. We've got some palm tree nurseries all the way around us. Um, and uh, lots of mountainous landscape. You know, like I said in the past, we don't really do our research. We just, we're just kind of... <laughs> Letting it unfold. We're letting it unfold. And uh, yeah, if, if, if we're incorrect on some of this stuff, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, down below. I believe uh, on this one side it's the Chocolate Mountains and yep. across the sea on the other side there's another range of mountains. I have no idea what that's called. There's the update. There's the Sultan Sea too. We can actually see some water there Brad. 
That's right. So we just are passing an area called North Shore, which is uh, where we stopped last year, and that's where the North Shore uh, Marina was. That's yeah, remember that, Vic? Like yeah, we did, like a whole like a three-part documentary on on yeah. the Salton Sea, right? That's so. one of the best things on YouTube that I've ever seen, Brad. What was the name of that fella there? Remember the nudist that uh, ran the sailboat? Oh, Mark? Me. Was it Mark? It was Mark. It was Mark. If you want to get the whole story about how Mark became a, a nudist operating a, a <laughs> sailboat on the Salton Sea, I'll try and put a link like like they do on YouTube, like right here, okay? Yeah, so or maybe it's that. down here. But yeah. anyway, we'll put a link down below. Brad, what's so nice about this journey is we've got the top down. It's 77 degrees outside, so we're just wearing short sleeve shirts. Right. We're going at 60 miles an hour on this 111. We're approximately about 40 minutes away from this amazing adventure that we're that we've already embarked upon. And, yeah. And we found out something interesting about Whitehorse. Oh. Well, and that yeah. was what his favorite beverage is. Right. So I think, uh, yeah, I think we confirmed that a little earlier, but. Uh, we're, we're, we asked him, well, so White Horse, what can we bring down for you? As, you know, we'd like to bring you, I don't know, like a little gift or something, and we're going to stop anyway. I, I don't think there's a lot of amenities, uh, commercial, retail, or anything in uh, Slab, Slab City. City. There might be some black market things, I suppose, but uh, we'll find that out, perhaps. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, anyway, here we are. We're going by the old gas bar here in... In the yeah, Salton look City, look at that. Yeah. They call this urban, urban decay, urban ruins, modern ruins. You know what, is it in here, Brad, where we did our yeah. interview? Yeah, right there, in here. oh, there we are, and here's the Marine. Uh, Marine Drive, this is where the Marina was, or is. Yeah, so we've already seen that, so we're not going to stop here on this part of the trip. Uh, our objective here today is to get to Slab City, check into the hostel there with White Horse, and uh, start learning about, you know, how it came to be. Learning a little bit about the people who lived there, you know, why they lived there, where they come from, and, and uh, you know, and hopefully this will be, uh, you know, a great educational video for you kids out there. Hey, sounds exciting, Brad. <laughs> See, we're just vamping now. Isn't yeah, that no, what you call it? It's yeah, called vamping. I think so. I think that's what we call it. So we're coming up to Nyland. That means that we're getting very, very close to uh, Slab City. And we just got a note from Whitehorse, our super host, Airbnb super host, that there's a little live music event that's going on tonight. So he invited us out to that. Uh, you can bring your own liquor, he says, if that's a big thing. And uh, it's uh, tacos. tacos, two for five dollars. So, so we thought, you know, that might be something that we should check out. It sounds like White Horse is going there, so um, I think it's probably a good idea to stick with White Horse as much as possible. We have mentioned to a few people about that Brad and I are going to Slab City to kind of do this documentary and meet some people and explore what what's happening there, and not everybody is thrilled about this, Brad. Well, yeah, but until you actually go out and experience something yourself, I mean, I don't know how you can really talk about it. So, you know, I believe that people are just people, right? They want to live their lives, and the vast majority of people are kind people. Now, I there might, that. yeah, That's and true. the Airbnb has really wonderful reviews. Uh, now, you know, Brad and I, we are traveling with, what kind of value would you place on all the camera and computer gear? I know I've got a few grand in my uh, backpack. Yeah, well, between that and the computer and the drone, yeah, yeah, I don't know, it's probably close to dollars worth of equipment <laughs> when you add it all up. We're just coming out of Nyland here. Uh, we got the train just crossed, and uh, we're getting closer and closer to uh, Slab yeah, City, everybody. Yeah, we can feel it. We can feel it in yeah, the air. This yeah, is exciting. Yeah, yeah. We're on our final approach. Final approach. Slab City. Now, let's just mention a few things about Slab City, Brad. Okay. What is your understanding of Slab City? Why do they call it Slab City? So Slab City, from my understanding, used to be an old United States military installation and barracks. And so what happened, I don't know the year yet. Of course, you know, our researchers haven't done any work in that regard. But uh, at one point, the military decided, well, you know, we had to cut back on expenses. So they decided to close that military installation. Welcome to 
Slab City. You need to come here to actually experience this yeah. and see this. It's actually pretty cool. Very, very cool. I just oh. feel like I need to whisper though, Brad. Yeah, now off to find the Slab City Hostel. Well, here we are, we're here with Brad and we're here with Whitehorse. And Whitehorse, we're just trying on some new- uh, Tequila. Tequila. Yeah. And Brad's drank this before in Mexico. So give us your opinion. Take a swig and let us know what you think. And not too, not too much. Mm. I just love tequila. <laughs> that is the truth. He loves tequila. He yeah, well, that's be, what we it's going to be we, my downfall. We had to go get day. you something. Yeah. We wanted yeah. to bring you some actually, tequila. Actually, online one time, yeah, I read that the agave that's in tequila, yeah, helps people with arthritis. Oh, okay. Well, that's maybe I should drink some more. Yeah, yeah, maybe that gives you an incentive. Yeah, Brad. yeah, yeah. Get my arthritis. <laughs> it kind of made, kind of released me and gave me reason to, you know, yeah. to drink yeah. it more. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, White Horse, how long have you had this great establishment going on here? About three years. About oh, three years. Okay. Mm -hmm. Seems like you've been here a little longer. Yeah, no, you've really got but a nice I, It's actually been on. here five. Oh, okay. And I, I bought it from the guy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, very cool. I'm just yeah, I was just traveling through and I ended up buying it. Traveling from, through from where? From North Carolina. Oh, okay. Okay, we made it over here to the Viper Room out here in Slab City, so. Yeah, we, Slab City, yeah. Viper Room. I'd like to introduce you to my band, got Rock and Roll Randy. Yeah, we got some great live music going on here. We actually have, is it Chef uh, David is actually cooking yeah. us up some tacos. And then we got Chef Joker making tacos this evening. Woo! Yeah! $3 each or two for five bucks is the best tacos you're ever going to have. And if you're a vegan, that's already can set you up too. And he's a professional chef yeah. who's actually taking pride and care in yeah. his cooking right, yeah. tonight, right now. Yeah. So, and, oh, name of the band? <laughs> Jimmy, Austin, James, and the Mofos are appearing here tonight at the Voodoo Lounge. And then we have guest drummer Andrew on drums. No, Viper Lounge. Oh, it's the Viper Lounge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we got Electric Eddie on keyboard, and I'm Jimmy hey! Austin James. Hey, nice. Thank you all for supporting the Viper Lounge. Yeah. Jimmy and the Mofo is appearing yeah. here at the Viper Lounge in Slab City. In Slab City. Revolution Tacos, am I on video? Oh yeah, I see the video camera. Yeah. Uh, they're called Revolution Tacos. It's something I started about four years ago. Yeah. And uh, they're just one of some of the best tacos I've ever had. I'm a, I'm a real chef, so I actually take pride in my work. Oh so, no, I, yes. I, I, I've heard about your tacos. I'm looking forward to these tacos. Okay. It's gonna be awesome. Then let's do it. Okay, let's do it, man. Yeah. <laughs> I've been waiting so long.
Okay, Vic, it's getting kind of dark out here. Why don't you get in here? We're having some tasty tacos out here. These are tasty, wow. At the Viper Lounge. At the Viper Lounge in yeah. so, Bob City. So how does this actually compare to Don Pancho's? Well, you know what? I'm, I think this is this has got even more than Don Pancho's because we got live music, we got yeah. live, we yeah. got yeah. all this excitement happening. Yeah, it's actually quite amazing. Yeah. All right, well, enjoy that taco. All right. We just finished a set at the Viper Lounge with the, uh, the mofos. Yeah, the mofos. <laughs> and uh, you know what? We're out in the middle of the desert at Slab City, and it's such a pleasant evening. There's no wind. It's probably about 20 degrees still. Yeah. Uh, Celsius for those of you who are tuning in from Canada. Shout out to Joker on the stove. He made some excellent tacos for us. So then we met David. And uh, tell us about David there. Yeah, David's a very interesting guy. He was actually in the real estate business in San Francisco. Finally made it to the slabs. Yeah, that's what, uh, if you're a local, that's what you call it. Is yeah, the slabs. The slabs. And, and the yeah. interesting thing that I discovered is that the people that are from the city or from the other parts of uh, the country that yeah. aren't from the slabs are called Babylonians. So we're a Babylonian? Yeah, we're a Babylonian. <laughs> okay, rather. there we go. We're from Babylon. We're having a great time. So now we're off to a place, I think it's called The Range. It's another live music stage. After that, White Horse tells us there might even be a little, be some karaoke. little karaoke. So that might be fun to see yeah. you up there singing a little karaoke. Hey, sounds super. Okay, to let's, it. Cheers. let's go off to the range. We can pretend we young and free and never to be tamed. Oh. Well, fuck a car wash, come on, let's go drive it in the rain. Road soda, bet you wanna take away the pain. You put your hands up on the wheel and I'll do the gas and brake. Go. Oh. Hey everybody, it's about uh, quarter to 11 here on yes. Friday night here in uh, Slab City at the range. And the range, as you've been seeing in the rest of this vlog, is this, actually it turned out to be this incredible experience. It really was. We had really three musical acts. They finished off with this amazing band called Sheever playing. Sheever. So anyway, we're listening to Sheever and Betty, who's the, the lead Betty guitarist. Was she was rocking. But the whole band was amazing. It's madness to think that we have this incredible music venue out in the middle of Slab City. And everybody was like so chill. So we ended up buying their album. Uh, we each got a t-shirt. We actually, we each got uh, the Sheever, uh, their old album. And they played this amazing surf music. It's sort of like a cross between that and Serge the old Leone Spaghetti Westerns, like Fistful of Dollars, you know. Uh, that sort of thing. No, and, really exciting music. And it was nice. exciting, it was fun, it was a bit of a throwback for me, but it still had this modern kind of twist on it. And the sound was so great out here. Everybody should come out here and experience this. No, really, we had a wonderful yeah. night, Brad. Yeah, yeah. This is like an extraordinary night. <laughs> anyway, everybody, uh, that's the end that's of, it. almost the end of night one here, I guess, and we're just heading back yeah. over to uh, Whitehorse's place to the Slab City Hostel. We are in Slab City. This is our accommodations for the night. Yeah. We've just had an incredible night. This is where Brad is sleeping. And the amazing thing for me is that we are actually just, look at that, there's a steering wheel right there. In case Brad gets the idea that he needs to go somewhere. The there it is. In case we go to get the hell out of this place. Yeah. <laughs> there's the steering wheel. Yeah. Okay. Now come on back, folks. Let's have a look back here. The, um, the bathroom in here is not working. There's an outhouse over there, or there's a bush behind the building. This is where I'm going to sleep, right here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pass out here. Yeah, it's yeah, pretty clean. 
I'm gonna sleep with my shoes on tonight. Yeah. I'll explain why later. So yeah, no, no, this is actually uh, a pretty decent place, and we're actually quite happy with yeah. it. Yeah, we've gotten uh, acclimatized to the to the location. Well, good night, Vic. Good night, Brad. And good night, folks. <laughs> yeah. Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, just getting up here. Actually, I've been out taking a few photos around uh, the Slab City Hostel. We had a great uh, morning already, just chatting with uh, Whitehorse. And he made us some coffee. Uh, at the hostel, you got this community center, like right in the heart of, of the hostel area. So you're free to come and cook or have a drink or make some coffee. And so that's what uh, we're doing here. So that looks like some good coffee. There, my first. Uh, French press. Yeah. Oh, and it's uh, got a little hazel on it. I vanilla it. bean, yeah. yeah. Vanilla bean. Hey, everybody, this is our. This is our last day here in Slab City, and yeah. uh, uh, this is our host. If you haven't met him already, this is White Horse, and uh, he's the uh, super host here at the Airbnb at Slab City Hostel. Right. Vic and I want to thank you for being such a great host. We had such a great time. White Horse showed us around all last night. He really made sure that we were looked after. Made us a great cup of coffee this morning, and then we went for breakfast. Yeah. And we yeah. went over to the uh, Oasis Coffee Club, and uh, that's where we had a chance to meet Jinxie, and Jinxie there uh, was the uh, MC at last night's show at, uh, at the range. And it was kind of funny, when I first signed up uh, on Airbnb to stay at uh, White Horse's Hostel, I get a little message from him that says, Welcome aboard, bro. You won't be disappointed. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, uh, you and know, we weren't. We were, we not, were not disappointed, disappointed fact, at all. You have exceeded yeah. every yeah. expectation. You it's, treated us so kindly. Mm -hmm. You showed us and pointed us in the right areas. And so, really, a big shout yeah. out. Thank you so much. This is Whitehorse. a great yeah. place to stay, and we would highly recommend you. Why should people come and stay here with you? Well, I think, you know, that. Everybody should come and see Slab City at least once in their lifetime. And the mountain too, Salvation Mountain. There's such creative genius here in a lot of ways. And, and the way that people live and off-grid and stuff, it uh, it's, uh, could be post-apocalyptic, who knows? The place might end up being crowded here you know, in a few years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when the world comes to an end. Yeah, right, yeah. I say, oh, you live off of solar? Oh, yeah, we live off of solar. Well, yeah. you know how to do it, right? And, uh -huh. uh, yeah, not a lot it. of us know how to do that. So that's mm. a really interesting thing. So, Vic, you actually had a question. Yeah, I had a follow-up question. So earlier we talked about, you talked about the four winds of? Change and growth. Change and growth. And you talked about what led you here, too. Creator had spoke to me and said he was going to take me to wherever the four winds of change and growth were, and that uh, I was to uh, um, embrace the unknown and to expect the unknown. And because I did that, you know, I ended up here. You know, I ended up here at the hostel, and it, it's become a, a real vortex for me to meet people from all over the world and make connections with people it's it's been superb of course desert life isn't always perfect you know by any means you know but uh one thing is that everything doesn't have to be perfect to be beautiful <laughs> that's right well white horse yeah you yeah. got a beautiful heart thank and you. we just want to say thank you yeah. so much yeah again. you're beautiful yeah you're beautiful. Oh, this yeah. is a beautiful yeah. human yeah. being yeah. Yeah. that was yeah. all great yeah <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get a hug too. All this right. Awesome. All right. Awesome. Yeah, we we're coming back. back. Well, you know, I don't. People think I'm marketing all the time, but I've always said that people need to stay here at least two or three days just to encompass everything that's here. Yeah. And really get to know the community and the right. people and the vibe, you know, and relax. Sometimes people blow in and they're late at night and they blow out the next morning and it's like. Well, you didn't really, really get the experience, really. Well, we did. We did a lot. Of you things. guys did a lot today. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we had a full day. We saw it. Plus last night. Last yeah. Plus last was, night. That was, fun but, last night. That was, yeah, that was completely unexpected. Last mm -hmm. night was yeah. completely unexpected. But anyway, thank All you, right. my friend. All right. Be, be safe. Be safe.